Hello and welcome to day 162 in this quest for a 2000 rapid chess rating on chess.com. Okay, we're waiting for an opponent here. We have a 1750 player, a Dr. Howard. All right, we're going to try and do the Jabava London setup. Okay, so let's see what they do in response. Hmm. Okay, already they're letting us grab the center. So we might as well do that. Uh, and now we can attack their knight. So that'll give us a space gain, I guess. All right, and so they retreat back and now we've turned it into a French defense. So I don't know, is that really that great? not sure we could drop back or well we could move forward as well uh, maybe i go here to prevent them from developing their bishop um let's see let's see huh all right well Probably need to just develop a piece here, so I'll go ahead and do that. And as we wait for them to make their move, okay, as expected here. Um, if we jump forward, they could check us which is not so good. Um, hmm. Hmm. Well. Let's see. Do we go here with this bishop? Um. Uh, Maybe we go here attacking the queen. That's a possibility. But then they could just move their queen and add to the pressure here. Um, so I think instead I'm just going to go here and fortify in the center. So let's see what they decide next. So the pressure is added here. Now, should I go ahead and capture? That's the question. So they're piling up on this. Hmm. So this could be the issue. All right, well, maybe I just go ahead and capture here and see what they do. All right, now, we'll go ahead and play that. Okay, and then develop with check. Okay, now I could just go ahead and take, is that best? Do I have anything better? Um,
Hmm. And this would give up their good bishop for the bad one. Should I go ahead and castle? That is the question. Do I ignore that? Just castle. I think I'm just going to go ahead and castle. But if he takes me, I take with the knight. You know, then he tries to attack the knight. I can't really jump forward here. Ah, uh, wasting too much time. I'll go ahead and trade off there. Okay, so now... Now what? We attack the knight? Um, probably should just go ahead and castle here. So we will go ahead... Ah, okay, yeah, we need to just go ahead and castle. So we'll go ahead and do that. And now what? Now what? He's going to start piling up on this pawn here. Do I bring my queen up? You know, up to here? Okay. So he decides to attack. All right. Well, do I... Hmm. Now what? Huh. All right, probably need to just defend. He's going to knock out our bishop there, though, which is not so great. Do we go here? Hmm. All right, well, do we develop the rook? Hmm, do we defend the pawn? Maybe we just defend the pawn. Hmm. All right. So as expected, he attacks. I pretty much have to go back that way. Um, now what? What now? Do I... bring this other pawn up for the defense? Or I probably need to reposition my knight. So, should I push forward here? Attacking. Hmm. Oh, he's going to threaten 
to attack my knight and my rook here, you know, on this diagonal. Okay. So I definitely need to watch out for that. Hmm. Well, I should probably move off of that diagonal then. So let's do that. Move off of the diagonal. Okay. What now? What now? Well, now I could launch this knight up here. The queen is unprotected. So I could bring my knight here, but then you know, where will it go? Um, if I jump here, do I just... Uh, hmm. All right. What now? What now? Hmm. Should probably develop develop this queen. How can I better develop the queen? Um, hmm. Well, maybe I just go there. All right. To look for checks, captures, and threats. Okay, I'm lined up on the king side. You know, maybe I bring the rook up here. You know, that would take a while, and he could just block it. Um, hmm. Could jump this knight up here now. That's a possibility. Also looking at bringing this pawn up here. So bring this pawn here. Uh, but then he could just push his forward. Okay. So. Hmm. All right. At least he's thinking a while. But man, I'm running out of time. I look at my last few moves. were way too long here. Over a minute on my last. Well, a few of my last moves were over a minute long. So now I'm thinking, what, bring the other rook over? Double queen and rook up on this D file? Hmm. Okay. All right, that looks to be the best thing to do. Just line up there.
All right, what now? What now? The only thing I don't like, he has a bishop. Um, so a bishop, and there's pawns on both sides of the board. So in the end game, that bishop is going to be better. Plus, I have an isolated weak pawn here, which is not so good. So I have one, two, three pawn islands, and my opponent only has two. So I don't know. It's kind of looking better for my opponent here. You know, and he could just push his other pawn forward, but I don't know. That would kind of limit the scope of his... Um, no, he can't do that because I have too many pieces attacking this pawn here. Rook, queen, and knight. Okay. Well... Hmm. That's not bad, I guess. Do I go here and attack his queen? He could take. My knight ends up here. Then what? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well... Do we attack his queen with our queen? That is the question. Hmm. And the time is withering away here, so... Do we just attack the queen? Do we have a better move? I don't know, his position's pretty solid uh. hmm all right ah, I'm just wasting time so I'm gonna go ahead and attack his queen Now, if he captures, my knight recaptures. If he attacks the knight, I mean, I guess I could drop back to here uh, with the knight. So, you know, if we have capture, capture. If he chases my knight away, the knight could try and drop back here. But if he pushes this pawn forward... Then what is my knight going to do? I mean, I could go after this pawn. Okay, well, that's interesting. I guess we're doing that, and we'll leave him with an isolated pawn. Okay. So now... Huh. Now we could just jump up here. So maybe bring our knight here and here. That's a possibility. Mm, do I have something better? Where is it best to place this knight? Hmm. All right. 
right. Well, All right, I guess we're heading up that way. Hmm. And I guess the other option is to bring a rook up to here, try and double the rooks up. Maybe put this pawn here to fortify this. I don't know, it's kind of a tricky end game here and there's still a lot of pawns on the board. Okay, well. Hmm. If my knight goes up there, what is it going to do afterwards? And if he pushes here and I capture, all right. Hmm. All right, we're just going to go ahead and put that knight in there. I need to figure out where I want to double rooks up at. Okay, so he might be thinking about going there. Um, hmm. Hmm. All right, now if he pushes forward, he can attack with a, ah, see, I don't like that because he can go here. I think I need to drop back. All right. Uh. Uh. Hmm. 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 Probably need to push this pawn up because, okay, if he pushes this pawn, what do I do? Okay, he gave me some time to work here. Um, well, now we could push this, preventing him from pushing his pawn forward. So we'll go there. And I need to get my king up closer towards the center. All right, here we go. Here we go. Um, all right, I'll go there. Bring my king up towards the center. Uh, 
All right. Well, now. Hmm. What do we do here? Do I bring my king up there to help with that? Then he could push. Um, I capture. He captures. I don't know if I like that. All right, I guess we're doing that. Something else I don't like is all my pawns are on the, I got all these pawns on the dark squares. All the pawns on the dark squares, you know, and his light, his bishop is on the dark squares, so. They could be targets in the end. All right, here we go. What did that do? Now he's threatening to push this pawn, maybe. All right. I mean, I should probably go here. Okay, what did that achieve by him doing that? Um, should bring this other rook up off the dark squares, probably. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Well, what now? Uh, hmm. Okay. Do I bring my king up into the game? We'll go ahead and do that. That'll free my rook up from the defense of this pawn, I guess. All right. Okay. Do we want to attack? I don't think I want to do that. I mean, I could go here, I guess. Try and get these pawns off of the dark squares. Okay, now what? Now what? If I go here... So we'll go ahead and do that. All right, so I need to defend that. So I pretty much have to go there.
Now what, though? Now what? Hmm. He's going to be able to just get rid of his isolated pawn. That's going to help him. If I capture towards the center, he could move over attacking my rook, grab control of the open A file. You know, and then I have to do what? Something with this rook. Or rook. Something with my knight. I don't want to go up here because... He can just capture and then I go down a pawn. So I kind of have to go here. Man, he could push forward here attacking my king. All right, here we go. Here we go. This guy is going to cause me problems. All right, so we have to drop back towards the center. Okay, I pretty much have to go this way. And so he decides to attack like that which is not good for me. Hmm. All right, I pretty much have to go here to defend. Is that the only thing I can do? Yes. What now? What now? Ah, here he goes, piling up on everything. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we need to get rid of these pawns. So... Might as well go there, start knocking some of these pawns out. Okay, now, what can we do? I guess I kind of have to go... Uh, here to protect, so might as well do that. And then I need to reposition this knight. Okay, well, huh. All right, got to go like that, I guess. All right, if he captures, ah, what do I do? What do I do here? Oh, I can attack his rook, I guess. Attack his rook. Threaten a fork as well. Hmm. All right. Well, we might as well pick that off then. Okay, and then... What now? We go there. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Well, now I can go here. Uh, I'm hanging in here, but it is pretty rough. Do I really want to do this? Do I want to go after that? Not really. So, huh. No, nope, that doesn't really do anything. All right, I need to just go ahead and make a decision here. Uh, yeah, that was a time error. He just ends up ahead by a pawn here in the end game, which is not so good for me. Probably need to go over here and protect this pawn with my king. All right. What now? I go here. Pick this off. Go here. Snatch that up. Um, get behind the passed pawn, which is usually good. Or probably misplayed this. I should have cut his king off probably from being able to help. All right, ah, this is pretty dangerous now. Ah, this is where the end games come in, and I'm rusty on this. So, do I push the king? Do I go there? I can go that way. Then... Uh, do I have to cut him off like that?
I don't know. Maybe it's a draw. Oh, I, I would have accepted that. Yeah, okay, it's a draw. Ugh, that was a tough one. All right, well, my rating went up a little bit there. Up two points to 1,700. So I broke 1,700. So that's good. Uh, that was a tough one, though. They didn't make it easy. All right, we'll do a quick game review and then um, do a computer analysis afterwards. Okay, I played at 77.8% accuracy. My opponent played at 786 um, Two great moves by me, one by my opponent. But he picked 20 of the best moves, and I only picked 14. Okay, the bad moves. Uh, I had three inaccuracies. My opponent had nine. Ooh, nine inaccuracies. But I had eight mistakes versus their three. Uh, I had five missed opportunities. They had six, and we each had one blunder. So I played at a 1750 level. They played at 1800. And then 98.9% uh, .9 opening accuracy for me and 97.5 for my opponent. In the middle game, I played at 64.9% accuracy versus their 637 So both of us could have played better in the middle game, uh, but the end game, 89.8 .8 for me and 93 for my opponent. All right, so room for improvement. So the review here, uh, we have D4, it, it went from, I tried to set up a Jabava London, but then it turned into a French defense. Uh, so, I don't know, we'll have to take a look at this because I misplayed it, I think. They don't like that move, apparently. I should have brought my bishop up here uh, into the center instead of bringing this pawn forward. So that was a mistake. All right, so now we have... Uh, oh yeah, quite a few mistakes. I should have centralized my queen to d4 earlier. Now they're saying this is a mistake. I should have immediately pushed this pawn forward. Um, I don't know, we kind of exchange off into this end game. And I think my opponent had the advantage in this end game, especially with a bishop and I only had a knight. Uh, and pawns on both sides of the board. If they would have opened the board up a little bit, I don't know, I might have had more more of a problem. All right, yeah, quite a few things to look at here. There are just mistake after mistake on both sides here. <laughs> so it was kind of a rough game. Uh, all right, so they attack there. I defend, and a Apparently, I should have ignored that and immediately launched forward with my knight. So I had that tactic as far back as, what, number, th or move 33. Man. Finally, I find this knight move and I capture it. So I'm ahead in material at this point. Uh, so I misplayed this, I think. Yeah, so I'll have a few things to look at in the uh, end game, And that was a mistake. Uh, I should have just moved my rook and gone after this pawn. All right. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like at this point, yeah, it was just a draw, pretty much. Okay, let me turn on, we'll look at the analysis from the beginning and kind of dig a little bit deeper. So d4, knight to f6. And I play knight to c3, wanting to bring my bishop up to f4 and set up the Jabava London system opening. Uh, but my opponent plays that move. I probably should have just played bishop to f4 here. But instead, 
I grab the center and then we go into this French defense, which maybe I should have captured here. Well, now they're saying bishop to g5 would have been the way to go. Hmm. Bishop to g5. Then they capture in the center. Uh, e5, which is what I played, was the second best move. So now after this retreat, f4 would have been best. Ah, I thought about that move, and that's what I should have played, was f4 here, to help fortify my center. All right, so that was not best. Knight to e2, dropping back, defending the pawn. Uh, yeah, that would have been a better way to go. Okay, so they just pile up the pressure. Uh, I capture, that was best, but now black has a slight edge. And now they capture here. That was an inaccuracy. It would have been better to capture with the bishop, apparently. Capture. So now this check uh, is good, but bishop to d4 would have been better. Immediately attacking that knight with my bishop. Uh, but I thought, in the game, I thought if I did that, they would just drop their knight back, piling up on my pawn. I mean, I guess then I could pin it with the bishop. All right, so, uh, and there I should not have captured. It would have been better to just castle immediately. Yeah, and I was thinking about that in the game, if I should just castle here. Uh, you know, but then I thought he could capture me. I'd have to recapture, and then what was I going to do? His, his queen could jump into the game. All right, well, capture, castle, he attacks. And here, the best thing to do would be play bishop to d4. Huh. But I thought if I played that, he could push his pawn forward, attacking my bishop. Um, but they're saying it would be better just to take this b2 pawn immediately. All right, moving on. Uh, I play this, you know, pushing the pawn that was under attack and fortifying this pawn. I thought it was an okay move, but that was a mistake. So bishop to d4 would be better. They could capture. Uh, and then we have, what, queen to e2 would be best, lining up on the king. And then knight back up to c4. Rook at a to b1, grabbing the half-open file. You know, maybe threatening to jump my knight forward in the future. And they recommend queen uh, to c6. Hmm. All right, in the game, I push the pawn, and he captures my bishop here. And now black has quite an edge here after recapture. Yeah, black is ahead by the equivalent of a pawn here. So what would have been better? B6, immediately putting pressure on this pawn, which is what something I was kind of looking at in the game. I thought maybe they would go here. I would take, and then if they retake, it'd be hard to defend this B pawn. Uh, so in the game, I kind of get ready to help fortify here. Um, Oh, wait, since that was a mistake, what would have been better? Centralizing the queen immediately and going after this unprotected pawn. Hmm. But then I kind of thought about this. You know, they would, if my queen moved here, they could attack. Uh, but he probably wouldn't want to give up his bishop for the knight in the end game. Okay, we have a castling by black. Um... B6 would have been better. Queen to D3 is a mistake. I should have played E4 immediately, taking advantage of this unprotected queen because he can't capture or I get his queen. 
with my queen. Uh, so what would be best to push forward and attack my knight? So they should go there and then, huh? E5 is the best move here. Okay, yeah, because they still can't attack. They can't capture my knight because of the pin. Uh, I'm attacking his queen. So I gain space. Um, now they're saying B6, adding pressure here. The knight should drop back to E4, attacking. Oh, that's a mistake. Sorry, that was not where they wanted me to go. They wanted me to go forward with the knight, threatening to jump here onto this outpost. So capture and it protects the pawn. Um, wow, they recommend rook to b3. Huh. Rook to b3, interesting. Then capture, black has a slight edge. Rook over to g3, lining up on the king. King moves over. Uh, knight, wow, knight to f6. Huh. How does that work? If this bishop moves, oh, there's a mate threat here. Maybe, well, I mean, what if they play this? What if that's played? Well, now they recommend rook to h3. Okay. Okay, you get the idea. There's an attack on black's king. So let me speed this up and kind of get through it here. Um, a battery is created. Um, so now that is a mistake. Apparently rook at f to d, bringing the other rook over would have been better apparently. So that is a missed opportunity. Once again, they should have attacked my pawns with their pawn. So we attack, that is a miss. Knight to b5 would have been better. So apparently it would have been better to bring my knight up into the game. Then, hmm, if they chase the knight away, I should go back to d4 and attack their queen. Huh. Okay, yeah, that would have kept the queens on the board. So instead, they attack uh, apparently queen to c7, keeping the queens would have been better because now it's best for us to exchange. Uh, I leave him with an isolated pawn. And now knight to a4 is excellent. Um, okay, so this is good. Now, that was a mistake. Yeah, I kind of just wasted a move there. That was kind of dumb. But I was worried about him. Okay, I had a reason behind that. I was worried about him going here. You know, if my knight, if I had kept my knight up there. Oh, but if I went bishop to d3, he wouldn't be able to do that. So, or rook to d3 would stop that. Okay, so. Yeah, some mistakes made here. And inaccuracies for sure. So king to f7 would have been better. Bring Black should activate the king. Uh, this is not very good. Knight to b6 would have been better. Now my pawn is under attack, but that's a mistake. Bringing the king forward would be better. Uh, and this is a missed opportunity. King to f2 would have been better. I was worried about king to f2 because if they start pushing and opening things up, you know, with the rook lined up on my king, so that is a miss. E4 immediately would be better. So, huh, they like E4. Putting all the uh, pawns on the light square so your dark squared bishop can maneuver around them. 
All right, so king comes forward, but bringing that knight up here is better. Um, rook comes up. Bring my rook up. A3 would have been better. So now king to F3 is a mistake. A3 immediately would keep the game about even. Uh, E4 attacking my king would have been better. Um... Uh, so that is the best move. I try to get rid of some pawns, but apparently rook to b2 would have been a better move. So attack, I defend. Wow, it would have been better to just go ahead and capture. Huh, that's interesting. Okay, but it's still excellent where we're at. Um, Black is ahead pretty good here, though. That's an inaccuracy. They should have captured. Uh, so I drop back, capture, capture, um, and it's not looking good. That was a mistake. E4 would have been better because then my knight is, like, really trapped in if a pawn pushes here. Uh, oh, well, no, I still have this move because of the attack on that rook. Okay, so we defend the bishop you know, maneuvers over here. So capture, trying to get rid of some of the pawns. I try and fortify, you know, for this move, piling up on that pawn. And a blunder here. A blunder. E4, oh my gosh, E4 would have been pretty much winning. So then they recommend I go king to e2. Um, their king should move forward. Now they're saying king to f1. Oh yeah, I kind of have to watch out for his rook coming over here and trying to cause problems. Uh, all right. Hmm. Okay. Back to what happened. The blunder is played. Knight to c4 was not played. I played... Okay, this move is still good, apparently. Knight to c4 would have been better. So, capture... That's a missed opportunity. Rook takes b4. Rook takes b4. Would have kept an edge with black. So, if the rook takes that and then oh I can't capture no way I would have to just move my king and then rook to b3 oh wow you know maybe my opponent was trying to run me out of time and didn't look at that move okay so in the game I finally find this good knight move so what now, what now? Knight takes his best, recapture, and that was not the best move. Rook to d1, apparently. Uh, just getting off the dark square and you know, thinking about maybe jumping up here with a check or going after this pawn. Hmm, yeah, that would have been better. And then they recommend, what, bishop to e5, really? You know, I would think they would, I mean, what happens if they do that? That's a mistake. And then I should play king up to f4. Huh. All right. Well, in the game, we were in this position. The pawn captures. That is not the best move. Rook to f1 would have been better immediately targeting the pawn. So get behind the path, or well, behind the pawns, whether they're passed or otherwise. Um, that is, that now I blunder. So that is a blunder. And the game is back in Black's favor. Rook to f2 would have been better. So 
rook to f2, then c2 check, c2 check. Oh, that, I would not want to capture here because, oh, they could attack my, yeah, this, attack my king and then pick off this rook. So I would have to go, I don't know, somewhere like this. Oh, and then they could pick up this pawn as well if they wanted to. The game's about even here. But after this blunder by me, uh, we start trading off material, capture, and where do they go wrong here? Okay. That's a mistake. Rook to d4 would have been better. Now I find the best move here, you know, preventing their king from harassing my pawn over here. So now the best move, we go after the pawns. Active rooks are better than passive rooks in a rook endgame. So apparently attacking the rook immediately would have been better, huh? I don't know if I would have liked that. Well, I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to get uh, some material here. So, yeah, that just kind of helped me. What should they have done here? Well, at this point, it looks like it's a draw. So, yeah, we just play on. And I'm in front of the uh, pawn guarding the promotion square. So they try to bring their pawn forward. Um, I don't know. Like, maybe they could have tried harder in this. Let me go back and look at one thing here. They're saying that uh, rook... Oh, no. King to e1 would be a mistake here. So... And that's a draw. Huh. And at this point, king to e2 is a mistake. Oh, because their king would be able to come forward. And, um... Which, I don't know. That's what I was worried about in this position. If we have... You know, what happens if there's... No, okay, he can't do that because I'll pick off his rook. But, and I'm in check anyway, so it's white's turn. So, yeah, I pretty much have to go back and forth here. You know, I have to go to this square to keep his king out. All right, well, we broke 1,700 finally. So that's pretty cool. Uh, feel free to leave any comments. Like and subscribe to support the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and have a super chess day.